The sidewalk controversy continues in the Hill City. Last week, we told you about a $9.9 .9 million project city leaders want to start in one low-income neighborhood. But the Lynchburg Firefighter Association shared with us the Freedom of uh, Information Act that they received last week, and they say the city had withheld that information but it's not what leaders say happened. 10 News reporter Magda Lulusan spent, uh, spoke to both sides of the issue and joins us now live. Magdala. Well, Lindsay, today when I shared that press release with Lynchburg City Manager, it was the first time she saw it. She says that they responded to the Fire Association's request, but that she, the fire chief, as well as council members were blindsided to learn late in the budget process that the association had concerns. A Freedom of Information Act request made by the Lynchburg Fire Association reveals there was miscommunication between city leaders with buses regarding the Florida Avenue sidewalk project. There was no pedestrian counts, no public safety data, nothing to support the need for it. In hindsight, we, we made a couple of errors. We're human, and there was an error in the capital improvement program where we had double counted the cost of the Florida Avenue sidewalk. and. I had a misunderstanding that buses could, GLTC buses could not travel under, under the railroad, and in fact, they can. City leaders are looking to construct a new sidewalk on Florida Avenue because it's unsafe for those who walk. The association says in the last 10 years, there have been seven accidents, none involving pedestrians. It also learned that a bus can drive underneath the train tracks. The association is suggesting the city increase the Greater Lynchburg Transit Company's funding to create a new bus route in the area. They could put a new bus route in service almost immediately, and that would provide ADA compliant transportation that is safe year round, no matter the weather, and efficient for those people. The $9.9 .9 million project is subject to change. And as seen in the press release, I don't know that the city's really clear on how much it's going to cost because there hasn't been a clear answer on phase two if it's required or, or, or what. But one, we're dealing with a railroad. Two, we're dealing with a relatively narrow road. There will need to be elevated walkways, which are not cheap. There will need to be a new drainage system and retaining walls none of which are cheap. I did hear back from the mayor. She tells me she plans on giving her full opinion tomorrow night at their city council meeting. I'll place her full statement to me as well as the fire association statement on WSLS.com under this story. For now, I'm live in Lynchburg. I'm Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you.